Hello, in our today's video lecture, we will discuss in detail about the Young double slit experiment. We will also discuss the wave nature of light. In 1801, Thomas Young performed his famous double slit experiment. Young's double slit experiment provides experimental evidence in favor of the wave theory about the nature of light. The principle of this experiment is based on the division of a wave front. Young used a trick and split the wave front of the same monochromatic light source into two parts and allowed it to interfere. These are the outlines we will discuss in detail about the constructive interference, the destructive interference, the path difference, position of fringes on the screen, position of bright fringes on the screen, position of dark fringes on the screen, and fringes passing. This is the experimental state of our young double slit experiment. We will use this monochromatic light source and split this monochromatic light into new wavelets when they pass through slit 1 and slit 2 new wavelets are generated through these slits the interference of light in young double slit experiment can be explained using Huygens principle according to Huygens principle the wave front of monochromatic light source act as a source and this generate the secondary waves or secondary wave fronts. Now these two waves will interfere with each other and create the bright and dark fringes on the screen. Something like this. Okay. Uh, here we will explain the interference pattern. This is the slit A, this is the slit B. This is the point P on the screen. We will determine the distance of these fringes. We will also determine the part difference and other parameters. Okay, first we will explain this diagram. Let's suppose this is the point of a fringe on the screen. This is the slit 1. This is the slit 2. This is the center distance between the slit 1 and slit 2. Now we will explain the constructive and destructive interference. When two waves are in phase, they will constructively interfere and create a bright fringes on the screen. But when the two waves are out of phase, they will destructively interfere and create a dark fringe on the screen. The point P will be bright fringe at the part difference S is an integral multiple of lambda. So when S is distance, S is equal to 1 lambda, 2 lambda, 3 lambda, then constructive interference will happen. But when M is equal to 1 over 2 lambda, 3 by 2 lambda, 5 by 2 lambda and so on, then destructive interference will happen and we will observe a dark fringe on the screen. Now the part difference, the wave generated from slit B travel distance S longer than the distance traveled by the wave generated from the slit 1. So the part difference between them is BP this is the distance between slit 1 and the fringes at point P minus AP distance between slit 1 and the distance between the fringes observed on the screen. So BP minus AP will be equal to BQ we name it as S. This S is the path difference between these two waves. Now, if the point P is bright fringes, if we observe here a bright fringes, then the part difference will be S is equal to lambda is equal to 2 lambda or 3 lambda. Because we know that constructive interference occurs only when the waves are in phase. But when the waves are out of phase, we will observe destructive interference. So, the part difference S is equal to M lambda. 
lambda is the wavelength and m is equal to 1 2 3 now for destructive interference s will be equal to the part difference s will be equal to lambda divided by 2 r 3 lambda divided by 2 r 5 lambda divided by 2 and so on so s is equal to m plus 1 over 2 into lambda where m is equal to 1 2 3 this is the part difference for destructive interference now we will use this small triangle to determine the s using trigonometry from this triangle we know that this is a right angle triangle this angle is 90 degree we will determine the value of s as look at here to this triangle this is the theta on the a side this is a q b so according to trigonometry we know that sine theta is equal to perpendicular divided by hypotenuse in this triangle you see this is s which is the perpendicular and this d is the hypotenuse we can write this as sine theta is equal to s divided by d now by multiplying both side with d we will know that s is equal to d sine of theta where the d is the distance of separation between the slit a and slit b now we have a second equation s is equal to b sine of theta now we know we have these three equations which is one s is equal to m lambda for constructive interference s is equal to m plus 1 over 2 lambda for destructive interference and s is equal to d sine of theta for the path difference now the path difference for constructive interference will be combining this m lambda is equal to d sine theta we can put the value of s from one equation in the other we will get m lambda is equal to d sine of theta where m is equal to 1 2 and 3 now putting the value of s in equation number a we will get m plus 1 over 2 lambda is equal to d sine of theta where m is equal to 1 2 3 for destructive interference Now we will determine the position of fringes on the screen. For determining the fringes distance, we will solve the triangle EOP. This triangle E O and P and triangle ABQ. This is triangle ABQ. By taking ratio of Y component with the Y component and hypotenuse with the hypotenuse from these two triangles we will determine we will divide the y component of this small triangle by the y component of this triangle here the y component is y and in this triangle the y component is denoted by s so s by y is equal to the hypotenuse here is b or ab AB divided by PE where P this is P and this is E so AB divided by PE we have this new equation now we will use here a simple supposition where Y is the position of the fringes on the screen this Y is this position on the screen in actual experiment Y is much much smaller than l this l is much much larger and this y is much much smaller than this l and pe is nearly equal to e o now using this supposition this pe is nearly equal to the e o and e o is the length between the slits and the screen so EO is equal to L. Putting the value for AB and PE, PE is equal to L and AB is equal to D, we will get 
1 over y is equal to d into s into p e where y is equal to s into p e divided by d. Now putting the value for p e we will get y is equal to l into s divided by d. Now we will determine the position of the bright and dark fringes. Now we know that y is equal to l s divided by d where y is position of the fringes, l is the length between the screen and the slit, s is the part difference d is the distance between the two slits. For m bright fringes putting the value of s for constructive interference which is s is equal to m lambda and m is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on we will get y m bright is equal to m l lambda by d this y m bright will be the position of the bright fringes on the screen where for dark fringes we will put the value of s is equal to m plus 1 over 2 lambda which is for destructive interference and we will get y m dark is equal to m plus 1 over 2 into l lambda by d now the spacing between the fringes in case of bright fringes, the distance between first and second order bright fringes will be equal to put y m is equal to 1 for first order, y is equal to l into lambda by d and put m is equal to 2 for the second order fringe. So putting m is equal to 2, we will get y2 is equal to 2l lambda by d. Now we will minus y1 from y2 to determine the fringes passing. So 2L lambda by D minus 1L lambda by D, we will get L lambda by D. This is the passing between the first and second order bright fringes. In case of dark fringes, the distance between the first and second order dark fringes is we will use this equation to determine their position. We will put m is equal to 1 for first order and m is equal to 2 for second order dark fringes. y1 is equal to 1 plus 1 over 2 l into lambda divided by t which is equal to 3 by 2 l into lambda divided by d. Similarly y2 is equal to 2 plus 1 over 2 into lambda l divided by d so is it 2 plus 1 over 2 l into lambda divided by t which is equal to 5 by 2 l into lambda by d. Now y2 minus y1 we will get 5 by 2 minus 3 by 2 into L lambda by D which is equal to 2 by 2 this 2 will cancel with this 2 we will get L into lambda divided by D. So this is the fringes passing between the first and second order bright fringes similarly this is the distance between the first and second order bright fringes. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe Easy EDU for more videos.